Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to this episode of Unfiltered Beer Reviews. Today we have a beer that's coming out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Pretty local to us. It's coming from the Unknown Brewing Company. It's mm. their Scratch and Sniff Session IPA, I believe it's a session. Yeah, we couldn't find too much information about this on the Antar webs, but it does say on the can 4.7% ABV. So that, that sounds like a pretty sessionable IPA. Yeah, for sure. Check out that can. Yeah, this is their Scratch and Sniff. It's supposed to be an aromatic IPA, as the information that we found. It's got seven hop varieties in it that were added at special times during the brew process. I have had this beer in the past on draft, and it's not a dank beer, or it wasn't a dank beer, excuse me, but it was very aromatic. I mean, it was enjoyable, you know. We've done an unknown beer review. You can find that one here. And, you know, that it's an unknown beer. So let, let's hope this one is better than what we've had in the past. How do you like that, head? What the fuck kind of <laughs> pour was that? That was a fancy pour. Well, yours is pretty uh, bulging there as well. A fist head. <laughs> What's yours about three fingers? Two fingers. So, somewhat of a relatively fresh beer. I'm getting a little lacing, not high ABV. It's got a very nice color to it. Mm -hmm. See, the, the head is very a clean white. What do you see on your head? The way I poured it, it's a very soapy, large, bubble, creamy mm -hmm. head. But it's a, a very, I'd say this is a very filtered beer. It's a very light, medium bodied, golden haze almost. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, I'd say let's get a head on, or a head, excuse me, a nose on it. But maybe we should wait for your head to fall down a little bit. Yeah, I'll snap my fingers. And now through the magic of time, the head is gone and it's time to sniff. It smells really nice, getting a strong, hoppy, forward it aroma. Is, it is a very aromatic beer. I pick up a little pininess. Yeah, somewhat. I'm not getting a lot of citrus notes on this one, which is a nice change. Well, I pick up the piney or grassy notes. I pick up a little bit of the citrusy notes can't quite put my nose on which ones but mostly just grassiness and hoppiness for me i get the citrus okay well, let's see if it tastes citrusy cheers. cheers not overly so not a lot of citrus no i don't get the pininess there you know, this isn't like what I have on draft. This, to me, has... It's not like a green man beer, but you've... You know, the green man beers are very malt forward, but I pick up a good bit of the malts on this. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's almost like the last unknown we had. It was very okay. malt forward. You think that's their traditional style? Is it an English-style brewery? Not that I'm aware of you know the the over the edge just tasted like that generic bland IPA you know I don't get that with this mm -mm. this is enjoyable yeah this would be very a, tasty it'd be a good session like you said at the start it smells great I guess hence the name the taste is not overwhelming it's hmm. something you could definitely consume quite a few of I just I really get that that maltiness mm-hmm it's not like over maltiness. It doesn't taste like you're drinking a biscuit or anything, but you definitely tell the presence of it. What you about know, the carbonation? You think it's over carbonated? Oh no, it's not over carbonated at all. I mean, if you look, you don't see anything rising. I think the carbonation is probably where it needs to be at. I'd say the aroma is, it, it's, it's an aromatic beer. It's where it should be, but the flavor is kind of, it's not lackluster because there's something there. It's just 
Yeah, it's pretty it's bitter. Not what, it's not what you would expect smelling it. I wish we knew what the IBUs on this was. I'm going to say it's probably around in the 70s, maybe. It, I'm you know, I wouldn't get that high. I'd probably put this in the 50s. 50s? No. This thing's really bitter. You know, this is good. This is better than the over the edge, the pregame. You know, this is... If this was something that we could continuously get, like the other two, I'd buy this again. Would you? Yeah. This is a very enjoyable beer. You know, it it's kind of a change from... I don't think it's bitter, so I'm going to say the overly bitter beers. I think that the bitterness really balances well with the malts. You know, that might be why I enjoy it, but I don't get the bitter bitterness, but, you know, it's there. You know, what would you rate this beer? Uh, I'm probably going to go with a C plus on this. Wow. A C plus? Mm -hmm. How about you? I'm going to give this an A. I like it. I think it balances out good. You know, it's the flavors. It's not quite there, but it's not a bad flavor. It's. It's pretty good. I think it's pretty meh. You know, I I like Unknown. They've got some pretty good beers. A lot of strange beers. Yeah. But, you know, they're unknown, so who knows what they're going to do. You know, and they're local, so thumbs up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, those, those are some pretty solid ratings. No, they weren't. My rating was pretty mediocre. But that's still kind of solid, a C plus. Yeah, I wouldn't pour it down the drain. But I know you just pour it straight in the glass and make a fist-ass head. I don't know why you didn't like it. I thought that was pretty impressive. Well, until next time, guys. Drink good beer. He's supposed to say stay frosty. Bye.